I'm surprised y'all even clicked on this video, being that y'all done already broke the Sephora site. <laughs> Hey you guys, it's your girl Cree. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you are new on this channel, we focus on all things fragrance, beauty, and fashion. So if that sounds like something that you're interested in, then please continue to watch. So in today's video, I'm gonna be bringing you guys my Sephora IV sale recommendations slash wish list. So some of the things that I would like to get at the sale. Not saying that I'm gonna get all of these things because no ma'am. This is a beauty on a budget channel, so there's no way I could get every single thing that I want and wish for. However, I can give you guys some things that I am interested in, some of them I have already recommended on this channel, and some of the things that I will be looking to get at this sale. You guys, if that sounds like something you want to see, go ahead and continue to watch. Let's get into it. I'm just going to go in no particular order. First things first, I'm going to start with skincare, which I don't have a lot really on the high end when it comes to that. I stick to the basics. However, there is one thing that I do recommend and I don't have it with me. I actually had a sample size. It's called Olay Henriksen Skin Barrier Strengthening Moisturizer. I'm going to put it right here so you guys can see a picture. This is a high-end moisturizer from Sephora that I discovered actually in a sample. So you guys know, the sample lasted me some time. I didn't use a whole lot, but this was the most moisturizing moisturizer, one of the best that I have used. Like it had my skin feeling so good. I use it before applying makeup as well as afterwards. It was good enough that I felt like I might wanna go spend the money on it. I believe this is like 50 bucks. So with a discount from the VIB sale, it would definitely help out with that price. So whether you guys are Rouge, which I believe is 30% off, that's already begun. For those of you all that are VIB, which is probably most of my subscribers, because if you subscribe to me, I'm pretty sure you're not spending thousands of dollars. <laughs> Plus Sephora is not my main go-to place to get my perfumes and all of that type of stuff. Y'all know your girl out about a discount. I shop at Ulta and other places. So yeah, I'm a VIB. R starts on the 31st, I believe, but I make sure that I show you guys that in the video. But yeah, you guys, I highly recommend this if you guys are in the market for a good moisturizer. Well, the next thing I'm gonna recommend is going to be foundations. Um, my foundations that I have, first of all, they are tried and true for the most part. One of the foundations I'm gonna recommend I've had for years is my Holy Grail, it's my go-to. And then I also have a new one. Then I also have one that is tried and true. Haven't been reaching for it lately, but it's still a good one. Then I have one to show you this in comparison that I really don't care for. So just wanted to give you guys a few options. So this first one, this is my OG. This is the NARS Longwear Radiant. Let me read it right. The NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. I have this in the color Macau. Y'all, this is my perfect match. This is everything. I love this. This gives a nice radiant type of finish, but it's not too radiant. It doesn't have you looking super greasy. But I just, at this point in my life, I don't really care for like a matte, matte look. I used to like that when I was a little bit younger, you know, that doll face look, but it's just not for me. I like to look like I have a nice, healthy glow. So yeah, this I highly recommend. It lasts for a good amount of time. I've never had a problem with it. And yeah, I highly recommend that. This next one is new to me, but I've been loving it. I've been reaching for it nonstop. I actually don't have neither of these on today I actually have on something cheap because when I'm not going anywhere and I'm just filming videos I really wear my cheap foundation so we'll have a video for that at another time but yeah this is the YSL all hours foundation I have had this on in some of my videos just to try it out um, I really love this foundation it almost is up there in the running with my NARS honestly both of these are really really good and they perform similarly so this is not a dewy foundation uh, it's called all hours foundation it's a luminous matte foundation so even though it is a matte foundation it still brings that luminosity out and i really have enjoyed this and of course i think it's like 60 dollars retail this used to be 49 but i'm really not sure either way i recommend you get it on sale so yeah if you're in the market for a high-end foundation highly recommend these two this next one is new to my collection, sort of. I had this longer than the YSL and I don't pull for this often. This is the Airbrush Flawless Foundation by Charlotte Tilbury. And this is in the color 13 Neutral. Sorry, you guys. The YSL is also a really good match for me. That's in DN3, just so you know. 
but yeah this one y'all this is not that girl for me <laughs> i'm sorry i'm not gonna hold you long this is way too cakey for me like this is like full coverage which i don't have a problem with full coverage i guess um, but it goes on like clay to me to me this just ain't the vibe it's not the vibe for me if you like a fully matte foundation you like full coverage thicker foundations maybe if you like maybe the Kat Von D foundation that Lock It Tattoo foundation she used to have or if you like maybe Huda Beauty I feel like maybe you might like this I'm not positive and everybody likes different things so I'm just giving you options but for me this was a no-go and of course you're not going to get to me you don't get any shine I've seen other people say otherwise but it was a no-go for me so yeah so if you are interested in this or you're thinking about it i recommend you go to support and get a sample because they do give you samples and a lot of people may not know that you can definitely try out some samples so why don't you get a sample of all three and see which one works for you and this last one is tried and true this is the one i don't reach for as much just because i've had a couple of new ones that i've been interested in but this is so good this is bobby brown and you don't hear much about bobby brown but she's old school and she's not new to this she true to this this is bobby brown in the color golden almond 6.75 y'all this is so good and it lasts forever you hear me this lasts all day long this is the skin long wear weightless foundation it's on the thicker like it's thicker than those two that i've shown you the first two um but it's not as thick as charlotte tilbury but y'all it's just it looks so pretty and it lasts so long i remember wearing this when i used to work at a hospital and wearing this all day long for a long shift and i remember at the time i was getting a ride home from someone um, from work and we went to the mall i remember being like oh my god my face lasted all day like up to at least 10 hours yeah i'm telling you this is the truth it's an oldie but a goodie so i highly recommend that so the next few things i'm not gonna spend too much time on because honestly y'all i'm not buying a whole bunch of makeup these days i'm just not into it anymore like i said i used to be a freelance makeup artist i know what i like i get what i like i don't really deviate past that unless i'm in the market to find something new so most of these things will be things that i know for a fact either work or it's something new i just tried so the first one um and i don't even have it with me but i'm just going to show you or tell you and i will put up a picture the first thing is mascara so for mascara i currently i'm sorry y'all duty calls <laughs> Sorry about that. So the first thing will be mascara. There are two mascaras that I recommend that I used to use. And if I were in the market to find a new mascara, it would probably be those. This first one is Benefit Their Real Mascara. I use that for many a years. I really love that mascara. It's good at lengthening. And that's what I really was looking for because I don't really wear lashes a lot. I don't have on any today. I currently just use a drugstore mascara, but if you are in the market, Benefit Their Real is a really good one as well well as Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara, the waterproof or the non-waterproof. They're really good as well. That's it for the mascara. Next would be eyeshadow. At this time, I don't have any eyeshadow palettes that I can personally recommend that I have used, but as far as ones that I am looking to buy eventually, that would be the Natasha Denona, which is kind of pricey. I think they're around 60 bucks. To me, that's pricey for a palette. They used to be around the range of 40. And then there are the Pat McGraths, which is probably the highest, right? Um, those are extremely expensive. You guys are in the market for any of those expensive higher end eyeshadow palettes. Those are the ones that I plan to look into. Not that I'm recommending, but just so you know. Next would be setting powder. Again, I'm not really using setting powders too much from the higher end. I'm actually using something that's drugstore, but I do have some that are higher end. This would be the Translucent Honey Laura Mercier Powder. I've been using this lately when I want to get that kind of brighter highlighted look and it works. It does the job. I'm not going to brag about it, but if you guys were looking, that is one that you could look into and try out or maybe purchase. And then I'm going to get into a face, all over face powder that I've been using that I, I think works pretty good is this by Charlotte Tilbury. And this is the Airbrush Flawless Finish in Tan or 3 Tan. I don't know if you guys can see that. Now, I'm going to let you guys know straight up. 
I'm not the biggest fan of Charlotte Tilbury. I've heard only great things, right? But to be honest, she needs to work on her shade ranges when it comes to women of color. This is 310. I believe there is one color after this. So I almost did not get this, um, but I was in the market for a new face powder and I heard people saying really good things about this as well as all of her products. They they really do rave about them and I wanted to try it out, but to y'all y'all know we come we come way darker than this. Like, and I don't even really use this as an all around face powder. I'll use it under my eye sometimes when I wanna use a lighter powder to set my under eye or my highlighted area. So yeah, I have heard good things about her bronzer. Again, I haven't tried it yet. Now I know that goes deeper, but I still don't think it has like a deep, deep shade range, but it needs to do better in this day and age. This is the Coco Naughty Sun Stalker bronzer that I got from Fenty Beauty. I've had this for a long time. I have repurchased. This is a really good bronzer. It always does the job. This is more of my summer shade that I use, but I also have Caramel Cutie that I'll be using this winter, but I highly recommend that one. Sorry, y'all. Highly recommend that for a bronzer if you're in the market concealers so i don't really use a whole lot of high-end concealers either like i said this is beauty on a budget on my channel so no i don't have a whole whole lot of them that i can recommend but there are some that i have tried that you know i recommend but uh, so the first one is going to be the NARS. Of course, I use that NARS Long Longwear Radiant Foundation. I also use the Radiant Creamy Concealer as well as the Radiant Creamy Concealer, the Soft Matte. I've also uh, used that and I do enjoy both of those. I use the Soft Matte one more in the winter time and the Radiant Creamy in the summer. No particular reason. It's just, just how I tend to do. And then I also have this one. Sorry, y'all. I meant to bring all this stuff over here. This is also the Born This Way. Um, total sculpting multi-use sculpting concealer i had this for a while but i just recently started reaching for it again and it is really good i really like it this is in the color butterscotch this has been highly raved about on the yt so i figured i would put it in the video if you guys are thinking about it this is my current setting spray if you guys want this they have several sizes i saw a jumbo that's going to be on sale for $50 and that's before the actual sale that they're giving us. So yeah, if you guys are in love with this or you've been wanting to get your hands on it, now would be a good time. I'm not swearing by this. A lot of people do. I can't say, I can't say, but if you are in the market for it, it's a good time to get it because it'll be on sale. One more thing, skincare. I meant to add this in earlier. Fenty Fat Water from Fenty that I have gotten in a sample and I really, really liked it. I remember thinking that it wouldn't do anything. I'm just like, what is fat water and why do we need it? But I promise y'all, I use that when I take off my makeup. I think it's like a serum, like a toner. I don't know. It's like a serum type of um, texture. Y'all, I really, really love that. And I do want to get that. And so I don't know if I'll be getting it at this sale. But if you are interested and you've been looking for something like that or that particularly, it might be a good time to get it. There are two other foundations that I do want to get. They are on my wish list. However, I know I will not be purchasing them because like I said, I just bought that one and I'm gonna get my use out of that before I just go off buying a whole bunch of foundations just to sit in my collection because no, no, this doesn't make sense. <laughs> not for me, but the House Labs Foundation, this by Lady Gaga, as well as the Makeup by Mario, those I really, really wanna get my hands on, but I'm waiting. I'm probably gonna wait until next year sometime or maybe the next sale that they have like this but yeah if you guys are in the market for a foundation you don't want to try the ones that i've listed those also are two good foundations that i've heard especially for people who like to have the skin look that i have like that and not even dewy but just luminous not so much super wet or super dry neither one of those that we want we just want it to be nice and luminous and those two i believe give that so now what you guys came here for right for the most part we've been focusing mostly on fragrance on this channel so i know that's what you came for and so today the recommendations that i have what do i have well let me show you. We're going to start off with our body mist first, right? There are two body mists that we just can't go without talking about. And that is the Sol de Janeiro brands, Charosa 40, as well as Charosa 71. We're not going to get into notes. You guys already know. This is the gourmand, caramelized, vanilla, white chocolate, tonka bean type of fragrance. You guys will enjoy this if you love gourmand. 
we moving on and this one is Charosa 40 this is your vanilla and plum woody type of fragrance it's really really, really nice I truly adore this fragrance and I will be picking up a backup probably the bigger size I said I wasn't gonna do that again but I am now because I have the oils to go with this so now it really can project the way that I want it to and last so I probably will be getting my backup of that now, gotta grab the the cream to go with it right bomb dia bright they don't have one for the other spray i wish they did so de janeiro get All that right, we're just gonna throw this in real quick y'all i'm definitely going to be getting me a backup of the fenty gloss bombs they are pretty much all i wear i have a few dupes but to be honest before those came along this was all i wore is the fenty gloss bomb i get the universal that's my main go-to and then i also have this one this is new i'm gonna be using this this fall because isn't it the gorgeous, most gorgeous colors called honey waffles this is the cream i always get the original universal and i always get the What's the other one fussy which is the like muted pink right now i have riri so i won't be getting fussy but i also want hot chocolate because i think that's just perfect for the melanated skin and lips and yeah it's a go so i will definitely be picking that up and i highly recommend those Ten first things first, highly recommend. we gonna talk about it y'all need y'all a cherry in your collection if you don't have one you do need some type of cherry fragrance now there are a million of them on the market I mean, you decide. You got Tom Ford, you got Seven Virtues, you got Yali, Love Fest Burning Cherry. Whatever fragrance that floats your boat, I'm recommending for you. You just need to get you one, sis. So if you guys are in the market for a cherry, I recommend you get you one right now at this time of this sale. So, um, I'm all about a good dupe. I have two Tom Ford Lost Cherry dupes, and those I will be keeping in my collection. They're very be. similar. And I recently did get a sample of the Tom Ford, the actual fragrance. And yes, it is. Very However, similar. if you are moving on up and you like, nah, girl, I can afford a good cherry. Like, what is it? I can get you one for under $100. The Love Fest Burning Cherry, that I like. I've had it. Really enjoyed it. If it wasn't for me already having these dupes, I would have purchased it. I think you can get that for $89. And then with the sale, you in there, sis. So I do highly recommend that one. If you, you got it like that, go ahead and try out that time for mm -mm. too rich for my blood baby but you go ahead seven virtues one i have not laid my nose on that one yet so i really can't recommend it but i've heard good things i'm sure it smells wonderful just like the others so you guys just go give it a sniff whatever your pockets can hold that's what you do girl and we gonna move on <laughs> so y'all already know this had to be in the video this is my go-to my main girl my boo this right here is the good girl by carolina herrera this is the original this is the one that i love that i first smelled and fell in love with i highly recommend it even if you like one of the flankers this is a good time to get it this is bay and plus sephora has really good sales on like gift sets and stuff so y'all make sure y'all check that out because they have a gift set for this one as well obviously i won't be purchasing it but if i didn't have it this would be a good time for me to look into it and if y'all looking into it check it out yeah. i don't even have the next one i'm just going to tell you because this is on my wish list this will be the vanilla woods by seven virtues i will for a fact be picking this up for the sale this is one that i've had on my list for some time and i purposely waited for this time to get it i've talked to y'all about it i've had several uh travel sizes of it it's about that time for me to go and get it they have a nice bundle set where they give you original bottle as well as the travel for the same price you would have paid for one with a book in there too right so yeah i'm definitely going to get that and i highly recommend it it's a really nice smoky woody type of vanilla i enjoyed it and i highly recommend it and i can't wait to layer it with so de janeiro charosa 40 because that's as close as i can get to a perfume for that so yeah moving on this next one y'all know i had to include this in here these are the leaves this is the libre edp and this is the Lieb le parfum i even recommend the Lieb intense you guys whichever one floats your boat if you're into that dna i highly recommend it if this is something you're interested in y'all it's a good time to get it i know right so look it's not that i'm recommending this i'm really not yes i kept this y'all because in trying to get to know the fragrance a little bit better well y'all i done put a daggone little dent in it not even because i'm loving it it's just me trying to wear it to make sure i'm giving y'all an accurate review because what i gave y'all before was just a first impression and i wanted to give you a thorough review and so i end up not sending the fragrance back but 
yeah you see it it's a dent it's a nice fragrance and i even said that then it's just really not for me after getting to know the fragrance a little bit better it's still not for me however i noticed that a lot of youtube is loving this they loving it child and if this is for you then baby go get it Say no I recently more. Go got a hold of a sample of Acro Bake, which I'll be bringing y'all that, my impressions of those samples of my diving into niche. I'll show you that soon. But y'all, I'm loving the Acro Bake. That's going to be the one for me. I also like Lyra, but I like Bake even more. That's more of like a zesty type of lemony scent, whereas this is more decadent and gourmand, and which I don't have a problem with the gourmand, but like I said, it is very similar to me to Poison Girl EDT, and I just don't like that Play-Doh type of smell that I get in. In it i'm not sure y'all something about it is off-putting to me i can't really get with it but if you want it then go grab a girl uh, i believe they do sell prada candy y'all know i recommend prada candy i love prada candy it's like nostalgic for me if it's something that you like i know you can pick it up at sephora at this time if you want to if you don't it's all good boo i don't feel no ways i do save the best for last this is the valentinos y'all at this point I'm almost positive I can't go without these like I have to have these in my collection and I just want I need them both this one is just my go-to like I love to layer this y'all coming out with a layering video very very soon so make sure y'all are subscribed so that y'all don't miss it but yes this I love to layer and I love to layer even when I'm just wearing this I like to wear this at, with it at night for like a nighttime feel so if you're going out to the club or you stepping out for a nice dinner this is a good way to amp up this because this is like sexy and flirty to me whereas this gets real seductive real sexy like if you can get your hands on the other Valentino I don't know if you can or not but y'all know I got it on the way so yeah be prepared to see a review on that when I get it I know I'm late but it don't matter because better late than never but yeah, y'all, recommend you get this in your collection. Hey, y'all, what's up? So real quick, I had to come back to y'all because your girl completely, I must have been so excited. I forgot about the main perfume that I wanted to talk to y'all about. So I had to come back real quick. So the main one that I'm going to be getting for the VIB sale is Princess by Killian. I don't need a prince by my side to be a princess. Y'all, I've been waiting to get that scent for a very long time. It's been on my wish list. One that has, you know, lemon, ginger, the matcha tea, and the marshmallow base. It's $130 retail. And for a girl like myself, on a budget, I had to wait for a sale. That is my main priority in this sale. If I don't get nothing else, I'm getting that. And also, hey, Ali, Vanilla 28. That's the other one that I will be purchasing. That's not a love for me, but I feel like it will be a good staple in my collection to layer. I'm at a place where I do feel like that's going to be necessary. And I do like the scent. It just wasn't a love for me. It was a immediately, it's kind of mature. And that's fine. It's a time and a place, but I'll definitely be picking those two up as well as the Seven Virtues Vanilla Woods. You guys, we have made it to the end of this video. I thank you so much for watching to the end. I hope you guys have found this video helpful. Hope you found something in here that you can vibe with, something that you can check out at the store, but at least get your nose on, even if you're not planning on purchasing. If you guys are planning on purchasing, let me know what you're getting down below. Are you rouge? Are you VIB? Are you an insider? I know if you plan on getting anything or nothing, which is perfectly fine, boo, because I feel you. It's coming up on the holiday time, Christmas and such. It might be time to sacrifice, and I completely understand. <laughs> I will see you guys on my next video. Thank you so much. I'll see you next time.